Hello friends. So today we will talk about Elias, uh, which is um, an important topic for support guys, especially to perform certain actions um, just by executing the created or the existing aliases uh, for certain uh, repetitive tasks or operations for which um, uh, they don't need to or they don't have to think about the logic syntax uh, on how to um, per, uh, I mean how to put that particular commands in the sequences to perform certain operations. So basically um, um, if we talk about the definition of an alias so it's basically an, uh, an alias is a shortcut that um, takes place of typing a long sequence uh, of commands okay so we will see about various questions and examples which can be asked in any interview regarding this particular topic um, now the very first and generic question that comes up is like how to create an alias so um, uh, basically, this is um, the actual uh, uh, syntax or the format which can be used to create an alias uh, where you put alias and here your new command that is your alias name and equals to uh, under uh, single quotes you can put your command sequence, right? So um, let's see the example. So here, um, giving a shortcut to the install command uh, for apt get install, right? This can be done uh, with this particular command like alias and install is the alias name and we're just uh, using the whole command sequence over here as sudo apt uh, get install. Um, therefore, uh, we can use install directly uh, uh, alias uh, name install to perform this particular command sequence operation so if you want to install nginx right so you can just use install and nginx that's right so you don't have to think about the whole sequence so that is how an alias is useful to any any sort of uh, operations right now um, how to make a permanent alias so whatever we have seen before the alias command is temporary right so aliasing exists until we close the current terminal only so it's um, available for the temporary purpose but to keep these shortcut uh, shortcuts uh, commands permanent so uh, we can use this particular command so that what it, it will do it will add this uh, uh, particular alias statement to bash rc file right so commands in this bash rc file are always uh, this bash rc file are always executed when a new shell process is spawned so here uh, you can see that echo um, uh, uh, this is the ADS command creation and which is now redirected to a bash rc file right so whenever a new sh shell uh, process is spawned so uh, you don't have to actually create an alias again so this is a kind of permanent alias on your system then now how to remove an alias so uh, there are two uh, methods that you can use either you can use the manual process of removing that particular entry um, uh, from bash rc file so you can go to this bash rc file and just remove that particular alias entry or you can uh, use an alias command so how you can use it um, you can use it an alias and this the, and then the alias name so if we see that previously we created install alias so if you want to just remove that alias so we can just use it as an alias and install right 
or if you want to um, uh, remove all the aliases from the system so you can use an alias hyphen a so it will remove all the aliases from the system um, now here we have an example question is like a uh, uh, scenario question is uh, like create an alias rm uh, which will delete the original file and keep a copy in backup directory so basically rm is the command to remove any file from the system any file or directory but here uh, we need to have an uh, alias rm which will delete the original file and keep a copy in backup directory so for the whole system whenever you use rm it will going it is supposed to be uh, it is supposed to delete the files from the system but it should create a backup as well in the backup directory so this is how you can uh, uh, create that alias alias rm uh, and then under single quotes cp and this is for the arguments and this is your destination and rm uh, this the uh, dollar at the rate or your arguments. So here what it is going to do Whenever we use RM and provided by certain arguments like uh, RM um, A dot txt. So what it will do it will copy a dot txt to the destination which is backup directory and RM a dot txt so it is going to delete that file so it is taking the backup first and it is then going to delete that file so this is how you can uh, answer this particular type of question that how you can create a, uh, a create an alias with the long sequence of commands um, so this is um, and uh, also when you create an alias if the item being aliased already exists so it will be replaced by this newly aliased command for that particular user so this is something an important point to be noted every time when you have the alias topic um, anywhere i mean so this is all we this is all what we have for this video uh, thanks for watching Please subscribe to our channel and please share it as much as possible. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.